What's up everyone? How's everyone doing today? It's a beautiful sunny day on what is this Saturday? It's the weekend. Time to relax and stuff like that. Got some back coming to gameplay in the background. Just some sniping, I guess. And look at this shot. First, look at this one. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Out of this world, right? So, in the past half a day, I mean like going back, there has been couple Battlefield 4 news actually some interesting stuff so we'll start out and excuse me for I seen my sciences seem to have been working out a lot and they're really tired so I seem to be sniffing a lot I don't know why so I'm having my naked juice mighty mango cuz mighty mango is good all the other ones are great too but I'm just drinking that for right now I'm about to take a sip wait one second yeah cuz I'm really I don't know, I seem to have some problems with my sinuses, so... Alright, so let's get this started. So first, you have Battlefield 4 upgrades for PS3, Xbox 360 to next-gen versions will make use of code in retail box. So when you upgrade, like when I saw that trailer, Battlefield official channel, they uploaded that trailer about maybe two days, or maybe yesterday, where it said at the end, in the only Battlefield 4, where you can buy Battlefield 4 for next gen for $10 if you bought it from, from the PS3 for 60 at first. So you can upgrade as low as $999, $999 euros or $99 pounds. So that's I think that's been previously announced which sounds really cool. And it was on the Battlefield blog which is really cool because I was thinking really? As low as like whoa. So if you pay 60 you only have to pay 70 bucks. But I'm thinking, do you have to pay for premium or does it go over? I haven't really heard anything about that. So if you buy about four now, you can upgrade to Xbox One, PS4 for $10. So EA announced this maybe yesterday, I think. Yeah, I think it was yesterday, which I think this is really good. Because I was thinking how much you have to pay. I was like, there is no way people are going to pay $60 again. Or how much, how much they want to make the game for next gen. That much money and then just expect them to buy it like that's a lot of money and the console itself so but I think if you get it with a bundle it'll be a lot cheaper and that's what I'm thinking but that's how it's gonna be and you can also you know transfer your game stats from the this gen console to next gen console which is really good for people that pay for like two weeks on those on the PS3 and Xbox 360 and you also confirm that they will coming out, Battle 4 come out on the launch day, November 29th, November 29th in Europe, and November 19th in, uh, what you call it, North America, I can't even forget, the, how do I forget the name? So if, the place for the launch is on November 15th, everybody knows that. And, but this, I think this has been confirmed, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's been confirmed that it's gonna come out, that's definitely, like I was thinking, it has to come out day one, like, it has to be, there's no way, they're not gonna do it, like what's, what's the reason why why wouldn't you do it so this is pretty good I was thinking that yes because I was thinking what am I when am I gonna get it I was thinking people can people are gonna get early somehow they're gonna get it early somehow just somehow they are gonna get it early so <laughs> yeah but the big news today where it really matters is the battle before beta will come out open beta exactly will come out on October 1st it's been it wasn't confirmed by DICE or anyone at EA but now it's been confirmed with a official blog post specifically uh, the COO not the CEO the COO <laughs> said the high anticipated Battlefield 4 action starts with the Battlefield 4 open beta on PS3 Xbox 360 and PC on October 1st then the game lights up on October 29th so that's pretty straightforward that's about it but you don't know how, we don't know how long it's going to be on. But it'll be open to everyone, so that'd be pretty cool. And like, yeah, because it wasn't confirmed. Like, people say, like, when is it going to come out? People didn't actually know because it didn't say on, like, two days ago. If you look back on the Battle for 4 website, when is it? It just says early October. And, you know, if you didn't know, you're going to play in a heavily trained Siege of Shanghai map on Conquest, pretty sure, which is pretty traditional from DICE. 
you know, conquest, see Shanghai. It looks good map. It's gonna be pretty fun. But I don't know how if people are gonna get early. The pretty much Battlefield 3, the Battlefield 3 beta, they got 48 hour access early. The people like pre order something, that was a long time ago. So I don't really remember. Which is but this is great. Because finally people can actually play the game. People are getting really tired of Battlefield 3. You know, it's been like out over almost two two years now. It's been past two years. So the game is kind of stale and people just want a new game. And here it comes October 1st. October 1st, how many is that? Two weeks? Two weeks and yeah, two weeks and a couple days and you'll get it. And everybody's gonna be like, yeah, woohoo, finally we can play. And I'm really anticipating this game. This game in Grand Theft Auto 5, I guess that's what everybody's anticipating this year with Assassin's Creed 4, the launch titles with Watch Dogs, all those other games, which sounds pretty cool. So if you want to get in the beta, the exclusive beta, so you have to buy Medal of Honor game or purchase Battlefield Digital Deluxe Edition or be a premium member of Battlefield 3. But a lot of his history indicates that you people got early access as I previously stated, which I don't know how they're going to do it, but I think the beta is going to last a long time, maybe two weeks. I think two weeks is good enough. This is pretty good. Everybody's excited. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to play it. Oh. And also, if you didn't know, the M16A3 was removed from Battlefield 4 now. You can only use M16A4, which people think this is revolutionary. But if you think about it, people just kind of use another overpowered weapon. It's going to be something. Something's going to come up. People, it's going to start spreading. It's going to be contagious. People are going to start using that weapon. So it doesn't really, it's not really revolutionary at all. But yeah, time to eat breakfast. I'm out later.